Hey, this is Ryan from WeAsk.tv with question number three. This question actually comes from a YouTube comment that I thought was really relevant and would make for a good video. The comment actually comes from a video I did where I explain how to install SSL certificates on a WordPress site. So let's go ahead and take a look at the question. So the question was from InnerNozzle. I'm probably saying that wrong. Um, he said, I'd appreciate your opinion on paid SSL versus the free options. Are they better or not? So SSL is a method of securing the connection between your website visitors and the server where the website is located. So it was primarily used in the past on e-commerce websites where people were making purchases and you know sharing credit card information. So you might have known, or someone may have told you to look for HTTPS in the browser so that you knew you were on a secure site. Now it's becoming a lot more prevalent because popular browsers like Google Chrome and a Microsoft Edge browser, uh, they're showing a website as not secure in the address bar if it doesn't have an SSL security certificate installed. So now even small business websites who aren't selling anything or transmitting any um, sensitive information on their website, they're still having to install or they should be installing a SSL certificate so that they don't get that not secure warning in a browser. So there are a lot of different SSL certificates out there, uh, both free and paid. And even the paid versions have a number of different options. So I'm gonna explain those in a minute, but first let's look at the free certificates because that's what uh, the person is asking. So your web host probably provides a free shared SSL certificate which covers your entire server. So this can't be used to uh, secure your website on your domain, but it probably just covers your entire server so that you could log into webmail or your control panel on a secure connection. So there's another form of free SSL certificates as well, and some hosts provide these and they do cover your domain so that you could get rid of the not secure warning in a browser. Uh, some hosts provide these for up to 200 uh, domains, so they're actually shared across domains and that's why they're able to provide them free or included in the price of your host. So this is actually what I provide to my clients. Uh, it's included with the hosting and it's a shared certificate across many websites, but it gets rid of the not secure warning in a browser. So this is a good option for uh, websites that wanna get rid of that not secure warning in a browser. They wanna have a secure website, but they don't really have an e-commerce site or they're not transmitting a lot of sensitive info um, so that they don't need one of the higher level certificates. So moving on to the paid certificates, these are always going to be unique to one domain. They're not going to be shared across many domains. So there are many different types of paid certificates too, but there's three main versions. The first one is domain validation, which means you just have to verify that you're the domain owner to uh, get this type of SSL certificate. There's also higher level certificates, and this includes extended validation, and organization validation. These certificates require the purchaser to uh, give more validation of their company like a physical address or verification of the legal name of the business. So bank websites are a good example of organizations that would have these higher level certificates, probably the extended validation. And you could verify this by going to a bank website and seeing in the browser that their actual name is uh, displayed right there next to the lock icon on a secure website. So to answer the question, like most things, the paid version of SSL certificates are gonna be better than the free version of the certificates, but they probably are not gonna offer any additional security. They both have the same level of security. So really what you're paying for is for them to look better in a browser, like the bank example I just showed you, and really it's just conveying more trust so which SSL certificate you decide to get for your website is gonna depend on what you're doing on your website, what type of organization you are, and then maybe your budget too. But these days, because of the errors that are showing or the warnings that are showing in browsers, I would recommend that every website have at least a DV or domain validation certificate installed on their site. So I'd recommend, again, checking with your host to see what kind of SSL certificates they offer. Maybe they have that free version that you can install to get your domain covered. Uh, and also check out letsencrypt.org. It's a newer organization that's become popular because they offer uh, free SSL certificates and they are the domain validation 
or DV certificates. So I hope that answers your question uh, about free versus paid certificates. Uh, make sure to check out my blog post that's gonna go with this video. I'm gonna offer uh, a lot more information there and link to some of the websites that I mentioned. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss future Q&A videos and we'll see you on the next one.